is so good. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. I must start off by saying that I'm really surprised that my video has not been blocked and that I have, so far, not received a strike. These videos are going down, like, by the second. <laughs> it's so strict and I completely understand, it, especially with recording this uh, live stream. I was kind of expecting that. But also, by watching everything yesterday with you, I know that on the day when I watched the live stream, I had the best time ever. But when I switched over to that Stell fan cam, I was like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? Why didn't I just watch the whole thing through fan cams? So from this moment onwards, screw the live stream. If you have a look at the description below, you will see what I'm watching today. These are all fan cams and I I am eternally grateful to 18 um, for sharing the experience with me. So today we're going to go for hype songs and hype songs only. Um, I'm really excited about this. I want to go through and have a look at the, the changes in choreography, the staging, everything like that. And I'm really super excited about this. Do you want to watch this with me? Is that yes? Don't say no. I really love to hear the screaming. This is the thing with the live stream, like it's all very muted. It's so theatrical. It's so cinematic. That tree, I'm in love with that tree. <laughs> Look at these amazing artists on this stage. Scouts kill it. That's free, guys. Doesn't Pablo just appear out of nowhere in a second? I really wasn't expecting for him to just come out like that. <laughs> I love the choreography! I just have to say that Gento goes so far. It's the first track on the EP and it's just, you're gonna love it even if you don't love SB19 in the end because you have that taste. Um, but it, it's a catchy song, it's a trendy song, it gets stuck in your head, you never ever get bored of it. But also what a fantastic introduction to the album and an opener for one of their concerts because one by one they come in. Like in other songs for instance, they don't always do that. It's not always like all five of them come in. Sometimes it's like a little bit jumbled or mixed but it's just such a great introductory song and I really love the whole rework of it and this angle is letting me uh, appreciate the scouts a lot better. On the live stream everything was so much darker that I couldn't appreciate the choreography and all of this just adds to the ambience of everything and I love it. <laughs> The only thing I will say to you is that the close-ups of Pablo were to die for. <laughs> Get job. The 
crazy thing is, and this again, absolute hats off to J. Joseph because the actual original choreography of Gento is so darn good that you just don't think anything will be able to replace it. And I love this, the freshness of it, how strong this is, you know, like the head movements and the kind of head tilting. It's just fighting talk. <laughs> Oh yeah. One hand in the pocket. I'm waiting for the day that they start to use more pyro on stage as well because I think for Ken's bit like that right there, he should be stood in like a ring of fire or something. The shoulders. SB Scouts as a unit. Oh. I have to watch that again. Those hand movements were so crazy, and especially when you pair it with uh, everything that's going on musically, it's so incredibly dramatic. It feels like a ballet. <laughs> I love it. This. This was so good. It's so simple. So incredibly sick. So much power, so much oomph. Like, you think that the song can't get any bigger and better a year down the line, but they rework it. Like, seriously, SB19 are the only people that keep reworking their own stuff. And this is why when you watch it, you don't feel like I've seen this before. Like, what have we done over this past year? We've just watched tons of performance, uh, performances of Gento on small stages, on big stages, uh, some that are, like, not done up at all, some that are very, very dramatic. We've seen them busk this. Um, and we've literally seen everything, every single version of Gento, and uh, I love this so much. This is forever going to be a memorable version. Of course, the original is the original for a reason. Um, it's going to be there forever, but I will never forget the anniversary fan meeting. That version, I really liked that version too, um, and then that elevated to this, and... I just don't want them to go back. Like, I know they won't. I just, I want them to keep building on this. And like, what is Gento going to be like at the start of the next era? I really love the narration. So I will make a switch in the middle of this because this leads into mana but the one that i want to watch for mana is a little bit closer but i could not not include scouts and jay because this is so important to the storytelling to the flow of the entire show and it was so good
Look at this stage. Here we go. Time to flex. I remember a few dancers right here that were like exceptionally sick. Like they're all really good. The guy with his belly showing, he was so good. And I think Jay joins them like part way through, doesn't he? He's not there like on stage at the moment. Ooh. It's like just fighting, dance fighting. <laughs> yeah, this guy, center stage right now. Oof. He looks like he's about seven feet tall. He has such a presence on stage. Oh, it's just so good. How I wish that Ken would have come, there, come in and like done some tumbling or something and then sung us the first line of mana. This music. I think this is Jay, isn't it? Because when he came on, the acting just like got taken up a little extra notch. It was so incredibly dramatic. And now this is what I want to say to you. The fact that somewhere along the way, SB19, Scouts and Jay came together and the creative director team behind, like in onesie, it's just the greatest thing that ever happened because I, I don't want to just go and watch somebody sing me a pretty song. Like, it's nice, but this is just everything that I love when you incorporate all different types of art. So let's not forget, like, obviously, we are there for SB19 and their wonderful songs and their personalities because we're in love with them. But Scouts are amazing. And Jay is, I mean, he's just absolutely unbelievable. I couldn't talk him up even more, like, if, and even if I even tried. Um, and also, I, I really want to talk about, like, the, the staging, the background, uh, the live music, the whole creation that this is, and the team that put that together, like, it needs all of those layers to just look the way that it does to be this big, massive spectacle. And you have to appreciate the part that everybody played in making these stages. It's just amazing.
rereading the uh, subtitles, trying to think that like I'm going to be able to understand this. that just amazing so for six minutes obviously the boys needed to go and get changed and everything into these new outfits but for six minutes scouts and jay held that stage i i could not even look away and look dance is my first love so i love everything about this but that acting really got me like this was not even about dance anymore and i, I don't care if you're the best dancer in the world if you've got a blank face and now i'm not talking about moonlight because that's actually to add to the whole flavor of the song but if you've got a blank face i don't really care i'm not interested i'm always interested in somebody who is emoting so dance acting i feel like people don't do that enough and and to be able to find that through sb19 i just couldn't be more grateful what a fantastic piece that was and you remember a little while ago i was saying to you that i hope that um scouts and jay get an opportunity during the finale like whether they're called on by name and said hey thank you very much i think this was their moment everybody knows who they are if you're familiar with sb19 you know who they are and this was their moment to shine Look at that moon rising. Oh, Ken. I missed that. Pow. That is one of my most favorite entrances, and I have seen that done almost to death by the one and only Michael Jackson. He'd always do those, and then he'd jump up, stand on stage, and everything would go silent, and he'd just stand there, absolutely dead still for ages while the crowd just roared. And I love that in an entrance. It doesn't ever get boring. Oh my god, pal, did you really do that? I totally didn't even see that. Those voices. This is just miles better than the live stream. I can't tell you how muted it sounded. Like, it honestly sounded like something was wrong. Now, I'm going to watch some of the other performances separately, which I've got lined up for today. And uh, I have to tell you, that MAPA stage with uh, four tenors and vocal mix, it sounded awful. And I knew that it wasn't. Could it be awful? Like, really amazing people collaborating with each other. But I know that it was the live stream. So I was really looking forward to watching that one uh, through fan cams. I didn't realize, actually, that applied to everything. <laughs> I don't really know what went wrong. Because it, when the fan meeting happened, I thought everything sounded amazing. And we were still live streaming. So I, I just don't know what happened. But still, I'm really grateful that the technology is there for me to be able to watch the stuff via live stream. Otherwise, what would I be doing? <laughs> Did 
you hear that accent? Look at Jar. The unzipping of the jacket couldn't have been smoother. Excuse me, Justin. I just want to watch that again. Those body rolls were smoother than ever. I swear Justin's got taller. <laughs> Justin's walk. was crazy. Everybody there singing along to that part, that was crazy. I mean, I was losing my mind over Ken's depth, but... Let's go. Oh, okay. A little less smooth on that whole transition right there. And you know what? I think it's because of the outfits. How crazy is that? Wait, it's even before this. See how much they're going for it? You can barely slide across that stage. And the fit of those trousers is not helping either. So much you have to work around, right? That's why you do a dress rehearsal. Literally better than ever. Josh's eyebrow. Look at the tree, the computerized computer game tree, like I need to know the name of the person that gave the suggestion of having that tree on stage, I need to kiss that person, was it Diane? <laughs> I saw her name pop up in the credits at the end. I really like that rising stage. In a way, I just want them to jump on top of that rising stage. <laughs> I have to say, they make some very interesting choices about their set lists. I'm not a Bazinga hater, but I don't know if I would always include it, and they do. It is definitely a hype song, which I like. Oh, 
to get those lights. <laughs> Ladies. Ken has so many moments like this in their songs. That mana entrance is like this. His I could do this all day moment in Gento is like this. I'm like having so much fun. Wow. I love this. I think the thing with Bazinga is here we go, <laughs> Bazinga hater right here. No, seriously, I do I do like the song depending on where they perform it and how they do it. Like this is definitely a good performance. Um, but when I think about the in in their set lists, some ballads absolutely unforgettable ballads have dropped off but Bazinga has stayed I think that's what makes me salty um but I understand they need to have a mix of like up-tempo and ballads as well otherwise it's too much like it's it just brings it down too much which is why I'm so appreciative that Pablo perhaps even rushed to release Edza because I think we needed that sort of a song in that mix if he had also performed something really hard hitting and like overly dramatic I don't I think the whole mood like leaving it you, of course you would have had fun but it would have been very heavy and so I appreciate that they mix things up like that I love that there's someone right down there, just in case. Do I dare mention the dimples? Look, can you blame us? The boys don't talk to us like this. They make fun of us and they, they just don't talk to us like this. <laughs> I mean, they just went ahead and did everything that I wasn't expecting. I was really like going wild with my my thoughts and what I thought they were going to do with it. They kept it relatively simple, which is fine. Oh, Ken sounded so dark. Baby, you 
Yes, John. I just love that mining is never an option. I like the outfits. I totally see what they're trying to do here, like space, moon, those trousers, everything like that. And also when you cut off the body, you can really like it, it, see the movements. They look a little bit slicker, but I would have really liked for them to wear what they were wearing in the music video. I think it probably was too difficult to incorporate that look, especially when they've gone from Mana to Bazinga to this. And I don't know what this goes on to. Do they still wear this in a second? But I think it was probably a little bit too much to make that shirt fit in or I, I i don't know but i would have really liked that maybe one day I love that move. This is so good. I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. So I was waiting for Ken to get down on the floor. He didn't, which is absolutely fine. But like his vocals really blew me away at this point. And then that whole like separating of the line, Pablo walking, looking into the camera. I was not ready. I'm gonna need to watch lots of fan cams from this from like every angle. I really love it. I love, again, the backdrop, what they've done with the tree, how the whole thing looked, and it's just so exciting. I mean, I actually thought they might open up the entire concert with it, but I understand that obviously we're, this is about Pug to Doug, so it had to be Gento, um, and I quite like where this came in the whole structure of um, the concert as well, and it, it's just such a fantastic piece. I was expecting them, if I'm really honest with you, to be exactly like they were in the music video, like without the facial expressions. They were a little less strict with it which is absolutely fine i don't think i ever expect to see them like with those straight poker faces i saw lots of smiles but that's just them enjoying the moment and um i think i actually was watching josh a lot during this and he was really keeping that face like really really poker um but they they all did absolutely amazing and i can't wait to continue seeing live performances of this i don't want them to leave it and this is the thing obviously they collaborated um with ian and with terry on this and as much as i'm loving the mix of all of those people coming together it's the only time that it's gonna, gonna happen because this is the thing with collaborations you just you tend to only just get them once which is really sad so i want to savor this flavor i want them to promote this song i want more performances of it um and obviously because they were very busy at this time when they released this song preparing for this concert and i i just don't want them to forget about it the song is continuously to date making lots of noise everywhere and i want them to start promoting the song <laughs>
Josh has gone. Where has Josh gone? Look at this cockiness. Oh. Jeez, the way that they sound. Ken's long hair. Wait, what happened there? Was that different? <laughs> I really love that rap. <laughs> really went extra on all of those like high notes I am hearing a lot more Josh than I usually do in Crimson, I have to say. Here we go. When they come down to this stage, you know something's about to go down. Please, Ken is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> Vibrating cell. Nice. I mean, Crimson is a hype song every single freaking day of the week, um, but this particular fresh performance is I don't know, are they getting better at dancing? Is the choreography getting better? Are the stakes higher? Is it like a mixture of all of that? I don't know what it is, but watching them do fresh choreography, it just, oh, it ignites like a fire in me. I was watching each member do various little bits, whether that's old choreography or new, and they have just come so far in even a year. Again, I I'm thinking like somebody needs to really seriously talk about their growth and the pace of it, the speed of it, because SB19 don't grow the same way as every other human being. 
in that last section particularly I, I saw a lot of Ken and I couldn't help it it's because when he dances he dances like he's eight foot tall he's just massive lets loose uses his entire body and I could promise you watching this he's the tallest amongst them and I know that that's not true it's really crazy it's just the way that he dances and it's really satisfying to watch uh, a vibrating still right there was really funny as well um the amount of fan cams that have come out of this and Pablo really enjoying it getting into the mood of this Jar is so good at it because he uses his whole body to dance his long body to dance these sorts of movement movements where you're creating lines or angles or throwing a movement out is so good for him and Josh knows how to work a crowd I mean you'll never ever forget that he was a part of Seon because he was such an important member and all of that story it comes rushing back to you when you see him come to the front right there and get the crowd going because not only is he a great dancer not only does he pick up crew crew really well but he knows how to ad lib movement wise and I really love that he does that a lot with his solos as well and it's very very noticeable right here love it <laughs> Now I know that they're not really going to be on stage, but it is a, an SB19 hype song. And that is always going to be shocking. Look at Jar walking through. <laughs> oh, so went up to the side. That's not Ken. That's Philip. Here we go, they're gone. <laughs> They've all disappeared. Stuff like this is the only time they have a backing track on because obviously they're out there and engaging with the crowd. This is day two, isn't it? So I was like, even if I'm supposed to be out there just chilling, I'm not going to let any moment go to sing, this is my life. I love that Josh will just stay on the stage. You can tell where the members are because everyone's like bunched up against that place.
I love how this sounds. Look at the tree. Look at Ken's face. Thank you, thank you so much, AC. See, obviously the, the ending of the show needed to have this, uh, you know, narration and everything. Otherwise, I'm not used to them walking off like this. I did think that they were going to consistently like to keep talking and everything, but they suddenly disappeared and obviously the narration ends really quickly and then you get the credits and they cut us off the live stream very quickly and you just want to linger in this place. And I do wonder how long ATN stayed here because you just wouldn't want to leave. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I love that Josh was still dancing. We were still getting some of those killer voices in the middle of all this, but this is the opportunity for them to get out and talk to the fans and you know sign autographs and take photos and all of that fun stuff um and i i just really love that they still choose to keep what in this it's really important and i love that particular ending because how many times i said to you like i feel like it's it, it feels like a national anthem and i feel like that this is sb19's anthem and i don't ever want them to let it go and i'm sad that they don't perform it for loud but i love what it has become this was so much fun and this was way better than watching a live stream um even though i'm watching fan cams you know like you just you you feel like you're there you're hearing a lot more of those vocals and it's the crowd really adds to the flavor of it and i, I don't know this is why i watch fan cams but um yeah i'd still like to have one day perhaps maybe not this one but um maybe one day if they're ready to officially release a recording of a concert that would be absolutely amazing or i think they should really consider releasing the audio of a concert you know like so we can have a live album or some sort i think that would be a really good thing to do this was amazing i definitely don't want to leave this bubble but i wanted to do like hype songs all together because it's really fun to watch this um totally high energy and we're going back and forth from lots of different eras as well so it's not just them creating these sorts of songs in the very early days they are still doing it now and they're a lot more complex and they are really interesting to listen to now and you see how trends have changed as well in five very short years this was just so much fun you talked to me about everything i included in this and i can't wait to hear from you thank you so much for watching this with me i hope that you had fun and until i see you next time take care stay safe bye